Paul, you, you saved us a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's All right, so Chrome has asked, do we need a larger structural analysis? I often notice activists think we can right a wrong within our current system, when in reality, the system is the fundamental cause of the problem or barrier to the problem. I think because of their design, NGOs are especially susceptible to this. I yeah, that, that is a very, very big and very important point. And to some extent, we're guilty of kind of neglecting that. So thank you very much for bringing that up. It's very important. So if people want to explore that idea, I would invite them to check out the work of David Nybert. Um, I've got a podcast with David Ny Nybert, which is pretty good. And so if you want that, you can contact me and I'll send you the link or his books. I think some of the books are pretty expensive, but um, I think some of the other ones aren't. There's, there's one really good one, which is called uh, Animal Rights, Human Rights, Entanglements of, of, of Oppression and Liberation, which is an excellent book. And also uh, Bob Torres, uh, Making a Killing, would, would, would be another, another one. And again, going back to Corrie Lee Wren, um, she would also have a structural uh, position as well. So yeah, a structural analysis, talk about things like capitalism, talk about things like uh, capitalist patriarchy, patriarchal capitalism, all these things would come into that kind of issue and would inform it uh, a great deal in terms of um, power relations, you know, in terms of hierarchy, in terms of exploitation, you know, th th those things are very important. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank you very much for making that point. And another point around that maybe we can touch on quickly is um, when it comes to speciesism, I think most people and myself included initially regard it solely as a prejudice when it's actually more of an ideology that's reinforced by those, those systems. Um, yeah, so just want to throw that in there.